Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a quick and easy back to school makeup tutorial. Um, so I thought this would be a really helpful video for you guys. Um, I hope it is helpful for you guys anyway. Um, because I remember when I used to go to school and I used to rush to get ready in the morning. So I thought I'd do a really quick and easy one, which um, would actually be doable for you guys to do um, when you're getting ready for school in the mornings because I know in the mornings you have to have breakfast, you have to get up, you really can't be bothered to get ready but you still want to look good for school um, so hopefully this makeup look should be doable in about 10 minutes maybe which isn't that much time, you should at least have 10 minutes to do your makeup and everything so <clears throat> to begin with what I would do is um, Prime my face, and to use this, I am going to use the professional benefit professional primer and quickly just squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand. If it comes out, I really need to buy some more of this. Oh, and then just lip cheek, rub this in over my face. And next up I'm going to firstly put my foundation on and the foundation I'm using today is my EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation in the shade F300. I'm just going to squirt two pumps of this, I don't know if I need two exactly, maybe one and a half pumps of this on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend this all in. So I'm just going to spray some of the MAC Prep and Prime onto my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to dab my foundation over my face. And then blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Next up I'm going to apply some concealer and highlight my face, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer and this is in the shade Nude. I'm just going to put this in the usual highlighting areas, so under the eyes, on the bridge of my nose, um, on my forehead and also on my chin. And then I'm going to blend this in with my Beauty Blender. So when I was at school, um, we actually weren't really allowed to wear too much makeup. Um, I don't know if it's still the same these days and I don't know whether you know it's dependent on which school you go to. Um, but I thought I'd do like a really natural looking makeup look which is suitable for school because um, you really don't want to you know wear unsuitable makeup to school and get into trouble so this look is very neutral and natural looking so 
So next up, just to set all my under eye area, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder and I'm going to use this Morphe M554 brush to set the under eye area. Of course you can use any loose setting powder, I've just decided to pick this one up today. I'm literally just going to dab it under my eyes and just set it all. I'm not going to do any baking routine or anything like that because let's be honest you're not going to have time in the morning to do that. So I'm literally just going to do that and I'm just going to put a grit on my nose and on my forehead. And once that's done I'm going to do a slight contour routine, not a huge contour, just a little bit to give your cheeks some colour and just to sculpt the face a little bit. So to do this I'm going to use the Bahama Mama bronzer by the Balm Cosmetics. I love this bronzer. And to apply this I'm going to use the Morphe M438 brush. So just make sure you tap off the excess. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some highlighter, um, just to, you know, not too much highlighter, just a little bit. Because you've got to remember this is makeup for school, not for going out. Um, so the highlighter that I'm going to use is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter. Oops, this is what it looks like. And the brush that I'm going to use to apply this, the Real Techniques Contour Brush. Okay, so that's pretty much my face complete. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my eyes. And because this is makeup for school, all I'm going to use on my eyes today is mascara. So the mascara that I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Paris Full Slash Telescopic Mascara. I'm just going to apply a few coats of this. Okay, so now that I've applied a few coats of mascara and I'm looking a bit more awake, um, I'm now going to move on to my eyebrows. So to fill these in, I've got to try not to go too over the top, make it look quite natural. So I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use a spoolie brush on one side of it and just brush out my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use the other side with the pencil and just start filling in my eyebrows.
Then finally, I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to keep it very nude and natural, like I said. So I'm just going to use the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the colour Brown Berry. I'm just going to apply this onto my lips. Of course the other option could be if you didn't want to wear lipstick to school, if you think that's a bit too much, um, you can just apply some lip balm or um, you know something just to moisturise your lips, you don't necessarily have to wear lipstick, but I think that nude lipstick looks quite natural so it should be fine to wear. And so this is pretty much my back to school makeup complete, it's really quick and easy and simple, so I hope you guys find it quick and easy and simple to follow and I hope you guys enjoyed my video as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!